Today on Toy Shiz is third time the Mandarin Charm. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new deluxe Mandarin Spawn. This is the third Mandarin Spawn in as many months. This is the designer edition. Comes with a mini poster as well. But a different look for the Mandarin Spawn. More of a deluxe, of course. Really gorgeous packaging all over this sucker. It's just really done nice. It's a nice presentation. Nice photo of the figure on the back as well. Spawn. It's nice to have Spawn back on the shelves. More than anything, I'm so happy to have more Spawn figures. And here's the barcode as well. These should be hitting stores relatively soon. And again, I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, this is now the third Mandarin Spawn that we've gotten. This is a deluxe edition, more weapons, more paint. So we're going to look at it in the sense of, do you get more for your buck if you're going to go the more expensive route, or should you stay in the more $20 range? So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot Mandarin cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new deluxe edition Mandarin Spawn Designer Edition by McFarlane Toys. And hey, did you catch the announcement for the new wave of Spawn action figures? Spawn is making a comeback this fall with Spawn Universe, and he's bringing with him a whole new set of McFarlane Toys Series 1, including a giant mega-sized Violator, because that's how he looks in the comics. More info on that coming up shortly, and stay tuned to McFarlane Toys for all their announcements. And of course, here's the brand new Deluxe Edition Mandarin Spawn taken out of the packaging. And as you can see right off the bat, yeah, you do get a lot more weapons, a lot more accessories, and a lot more paint, which is good and bad, because then you got to pay more for it. And then nobody wants to do that, right? Now, the most 90s thing ever. It's a great packet. It's very nostalgic, but at the same time, it's like, okay. But you get a nice art print of the Mandarin Spawn comic book issue when he debuted so yes no <laughs> it's it's okay for what it is and then of course you get a bunch of weapons right and just as we've looked at with all the other mandarin spawns blue and red and now this deluxe that is very ornate really nicely sculpted nice designs and i'll show you in just a second while this does tout that it's painted a whole heck of a lot more than the 20 dollar ones the weapons are kind of stark in the paint section, I'm just going to say. doesn't say it's lack of detail or sculpt, but the paint is, you know, what they're kind of touting. So when you see it next to the red version, the red version of the Mandarin Spawn comes with a red weapon. This new Mandarin Deluxe Spawn doesn't really... Even on the blue Mandarin Spawn, you get more paint apps. So you get more on the $20 ones less on the $40 one. Just keep that in mind, if that's really going to bother you. And the same thing when you see these two weapons compared to one another. Now, it's really like blue plastic to gold, and then you have gold to silver, so it's really the same amount of paint on either one of these. Comparing the red spawn to this new deluxe spawn, pretty much the same, although you do get some extra on the $20 standard red. For the Deluxe, you get a nice spawn stand as well, which, hey, that works. I love seeing that. And then you get a look at the brand new Deluxe version of this Mandarin spawn. It's the same exact body type, but they have switched out certain pieces, added pieces, taken off pieces, but it really touts that it's painted a whole heck of a lot more. And in a recent video that McFarlane did, he said that kind of comes down to the retailers, what they want to charge, put it out for, and how they can kind of contend with putting as many paint apps or as less paint apps as they see fit for the price point they are going for. So with the higher price point, yeah, you're going to pay for more paint apps. It's not like back in the day where they were $7.99 and you get the really souped up Mandarin Spun. Times have changed, so in a sense of constantly saying that that's just the way collector's items have gone and that's unfortunate but the way it is this is actually a really cool weapon right here you get the double splayed weapon that yeah features on the art print and if you twist right here just to kind of get it into his hands easier this will come off and then you can slip it in that's that's very mcfarland toys i remember them doing a ton of those back in the day and then you have the shield which very ornate, very cool, very different than the original Mandarin Spawn's shield. As you can see, the original does have more paint apps. I feel like the new one, 
really succeeds in having it be less of a clip, which can break, and more of a strap version. So it does succeed in that sense, but I still like the old one, I think, better. And of course, in terms of the figure, as I've gone over, blue spawn, red spawn, and now deluxe spawn, same exact articulation. This one does have a bit more of a loose head, and I don't really care for this part right here. It's very, very thin. It feels like it's going to break. It's like that dark side loincloth thing that I looked at, so... Not the best right there. That feels like that's that could go if you hit it wrong or falls or you pull on it. Just be careful. But yeah, the articulation on these is great. You get the Mandarin spawn in a lot of different poses, and he looks great doing so. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, a fantastic ab crunch. He's got it all. So that, articulation-wise, you're going to be very stoked on that. The paint, you can see a lot more on the feet, a lot more washes. The backside, though, I feel like it's still missing paint. You know what I mean? The front, I think they got it covered. It looks beautiful. Awesome. When you compare him to the original Mandarin Spawn, the Scarlet Edge, this new one is a little bit more comic book while still not hitting that comic book note. As you can see, the armor of the Mandarin Spawn, you have to like look at it really, really close, but... I would have preferred more of the helmet from this comic book version of the Mandarin Spawn, but then the Scarlet Edge is in Spawn, so just think of it as there are many versions of the Mandarin Spawn. I like the Scarlet Edge the best. As I said, the paint on the original one, I think there's a heck of a lot more. I do like what they did. At least they're getting more paint amps for this. But again, that goes hand in hand with, yeah, you're going to pay more of a pretty penny to get more paint. When you look at it in terms of the last red Scarlet Edge spawn versus this deluxe spawn, I actually like the $20 Scarlet Edge spawn better. I like the face better. I like the loincloth better. I like the big hook on his arm. And it reminds me of the original one. This new one is great. I just don't think I care for the head sculpt. I think that's really what it is. I like the armor, I like the paint, I like everything going on, but if I had to choose between more of the sinister, snarling-looking Scarlet Edge face, I would take that one all day. I just think he looks cooler. Yeah, you're going to subtract paint here and there, and that's a bummer, but I do like the head sculpt better, and it's really, that's what's front and center. When you compare him with the blue spawn, it's a completely different figure, to be honest with you. Same exact body and such, but different paint, different add-ons. The blue one is very cool as well. And as I said, when comparing for the price point and what came before and everything else, you're, you're getting a lot more articulation and you're getting a lot more paint. You're getting a lot more weapons. You can swap out everything. Weapons, shields, swip, swap. You can swap out heads if you want to do that as well. And to be honest, yeah, it just it's a great looking figure. Hands down, it looks fantastic with Malbolgia. It looks good with the Kickstarter spawn, old spawn, new spawn. You can mix and match the weapons from the Kickstarter, give them Necroblast. So it's all there, it's all fun. I would just say, in all honesty, as many Mandarin spawns as there are now, if you haven't gotten any of the previous ones, never had a McFarlane Toys, Scarlet Edge, Mandarin spawn, whatever, then this is fantastic for you. If you have had them, the old one, you got the blue one, you got the red one. Are you going to go for this one? I would say it's if you really like the Scarlet Edge. Much like I said with NECA Toys recently. How many King Kongs is too many King Kongs? How many Scarlet Edge spawns is too many Scarlet Edge spawns? If you're a huge spawn fan, then yeah, it's a no-brainer. But if you have one, like I really like the $20 red one that just came out, that's the one that I actually really like. Sure, I like all the weapons and the extra paint and everything else. But I like the head sculpt better on the $20 version. But... I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Scarlet Edge spawn. Is it for you? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything spawn. And thank you again to McFarlane Toys for setting this out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, McFarlane Toys is very nostalgic to me. I like the old original Scarlet Edge spawn. I love the articulation that we can now get with these new spawn figures. So it's a grab bag. It's yay and nay all at once. But you can't disagree that they are putting out some really nice looking articulated action figures. And if I'm being 100% honest, I do really, as corny as it is, I do really like that they put the art print in there. It's like putting a comic book. It, that's just the old school 90s 
nostalgia in me. You suckered me with an art print. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.